Well, number one, thank you, Denise, for that lovely introduction. That was the nicest one that I've received so far tonight. <laughs> I'd like to welcome everyone to the 28th Annual Arnold Sports Festival here in Columbus, Ohio. As you may know, arm wrestling has a very big part of the weekend, but also it occupies a huge space in my heart. I've never, ever arm wrestled. I've never refereed. But the fact of the matter is that I enjoy you guys being here. Um, you've always been wonderful. You've been a credit to the sport. And all the battles that I take on your behalf, and you guys have no idea, because we have over 35 different sports who vie for the same opportunity to be on that expo stage each year, and it becomes more and more competitive. And even in the face sometimes of 50 and $100,000 contributions, you guys are still number one and still there Friday and Saturday. So give yourselves a big round of applause for, for that. I'd like to mention that uh, Everyone's gonna receive a wristband. Please make certain that that wristband is on at all times. If you lose the wristband, try to find Denise or else you will not be admitted into the expo hall. If you, um, they're waterproof, so please keep them on for the two days. Uh, again, if there's any problems, especially with the big guys, just let us know as soon as possible because these things are limited. Um, as Denise mentioned, I do want you to represent not only the sport, but also yourself. So please wear your t-shirts all weekend long if you can, especially, especially throughout the expo, because I'm extremely proud to let people know that you are part of this weekend and you are a strong cornerstone of it. And so again, um, a surprise may be in store either tomorrow or Saturday. The reason I'm telling you is because I want everyone to be on their best behavior if it does in fact, happen. Uh, as many of you know, I've had Randy on the stage with me for the past number of years, and he's supported you. But there's a rumor, a uh, pretty good chance that either Friday or Saturday, both Arnold and Sylvester Stallone will be present. And the possibility is that Stallone will give out your awards along with Randy. It absolutely has nothing to do with the expendables. <laughs> <laughs> or, or even Arnold for that factor, but we won't even talk about that until he gets up there. <laughs> and that was a cheap imitation of him, but well, it, it, it was effective. It was effective. Um, tomorrow, we need you at the expo stage at exactly 9 a.m. in the morning. Okay, we start at 9.30 sharp. The VIPs get in at 9. It's best since you guys have wristbands, you'll be able to get in as early as 8, 8.30. So I would advise you to do that because once those crowds, you know, built up, if you've been there before, it's crazy. And we're, we're expecting record numbers this year. There's a good thing that we have moved the gymnastics out of the convention center. So now there's a lot more space and a lot more aisles, but that you know, the fact that Stallone, uh, you know, had been on the internet that he was coming, it really jacked up our numbers tremendously. So just be aware that, you know, it is going to be very busy both days. As far as Saturday goes, uh, we have a 9 a.m. sharp start time. We go right till 10 a.m. and then that's it. So everything has to be done. All the finals have to be concluded, the medals, the hammers, the different things will be distributed. If, in fact, Arnold does take the stage along with Stallone. I need you guys to move as quickly as possible. Please do not stand around and take pictures or bug Arnold. Arnold will leave, okay? He will leave. He'll make a gracious exit, but he will leave. Um, so I hope that you guys understand that it's been 13 years since he's been on this stage with us. And it's been at least seven for Stallone. And I worked very, very hard to try to schedule these guys to be there for you. So hopefully that will happen, and I'm hoping for your sake that it does because it's a wonderful opportunity on your behalf. Um, this guy to my right uh, has been involved here for now 10 years, 11 years. 
And as many of you may know, uh, I brought him in when he was the UFC light heavyweight champion. And no one knew who he was. And I said, what? <laughs> Manny Couture, what? And that quickly segued into a bunch of arguments. And so um, I had him in. I gave him a booth. We put him up. And they said, well, this guy isn't going to be very popular. Well, the line wrapped around the expo hall. I mean, literally wrapped around the expo hall. So if UFC 68, prior to the event, he was very instrumental in getting me a meeting with the UFC. And then after 20 minutes, I convinced them that they should come to the Arnold for the next three years and be a part of our weekend. Well, as the story goes, Randy was doing a workshop for me. And exactly nine weeks to the day out from the event, he calls me up and he says, I can't do the workshop. And I said, why not? He said, well, you have to turn on the TV tonight at midnight to find out. What? <laughs> so I said, please tell me, because I'm not staying up till midnight. He said, well, I'm coming out of retirement, and I'm fighting at that event, UFC 68 against Tim Sylvia. Well, if he could have seen my reaction on the other end of the phone, that it was just phenomenal. It was unbelievable. And probably one of the most best moments ever in my life, because I got to walk my good friend to the octagon. I got to hug him before he stepped in the ring. And before 19,049 people, it became the greatest upset in UFC history. It is still... It is still the record attendance for the United States that has still not been broken. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud and very humble to give you my good friend and colleague, Randy the Natural Couture. How y'all doing? A lot of familiar faces. Good to see many of you back and, and some new faces, uh, Kazakhstan and some of the other countries that I haven't seen here before. So that's really cool and obviously a sign of uh, a growth and that's, that's on you guys. You guys are doing all the right things, representing this sport in an amazing way and you put it on the line each and every time you step up there and, and I respect that very, very much. It's one of the reasons I've, I've been, always been excited to come here and get, get a chance to see you guys compete and uh, shake your hand and hand out the awards after after the event. So it's good to be back. It's good to see such a, a big group of folks here. And I look forward to seeing you guys compete this weekend. I hope you all have a blast.